Hey everyone, Mithrandil here with the Geekly Grind. Uh, we are going to dive in to this uh, Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft Shadowy Silver Edition. Ooh, uh, and see what sort of goodies are inside. Uh, thanks again to Beetle and Grim for sending this over to us. Um, so, we've got a little breakdown of what's all included in here. A little, little thank you message from uh, Beetle and Grim break down what's in the box starting with a feather picture oh it's like a weird prop it's kind of interesting uh interesting material there pretty cool a little bit more packaging make sure it's all safe and secure so we've got some encounter cards in here um so air elemental banshee got a good number of uh encounter cards in here and if you haven't seen these before these are actually let me uh i don't want to damage this thing but Pardon me while I cut through. There we are. So, if you've never seen these before, they're actually super interesting. So, um, obviously, you have the creature on the front and then on the back side, and they, they, they are like a little tents here. So, you can hang this over your DM screen. So, the front, the players are like, oh, here's a creature. And on the back, the DM has all the answers about this creature, all their good stuff, their attacks, little descriptions, etc. Uh, and so, yeah, these encounter cards are, are super cool. Lots of different options in here to look through. Ooh. Scary. So, oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Oh, it's upside down. Nope, still doesn't. <laughs> still looks weird. Oh, it's a body taker plant. Okay, well, there you go. If you want to get eaten by this monster. There you have it. So, good stack of encounter cards. Awesome. Good to have. Good to have. What's next? We've got some props in here. So, we've got some art. Um, so, there's always some good little uh, art scenes and stuff. Again, you can hang these over the DM screen to sort of paint the picture, if you will, uh, in terms of what's going on in the scene. Uh, and what's going on in the module, so that's neat. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got some some silverware, or not silverware, jewelry, it looks like. Um, so let's dig into this real quick. Um, and props, you know, again, Beetle and Grimm is, is well known for their commitment to the prop game. Oh man, this thing's heavy. What is this? What is in here? All right. All right, Mr. Angel. You're smarter than packaging. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. So we've got like a, like a metal disc of some sort. Oh, what is this? What is this thing? Wow. It's like a, like an emblem of some sort. I dig it. Very cool. Very detailed. And it's got like a little glass opal thing in the middle. Neat. I like it. I like it. I'm guessing it's a prop. I bet you could, like, cover that over a letter or something. Kind of like a Ouija board. I don't know. Come on, All right. Anyways, there is some art. Uh, again, some more art scenes and stuff that you can hang over the DM screen to help paint that picture for your players. Uh, and then in this bag here, we've got some, uh, some more jewelry, a ring, a necklace of some sort. So, some cool stuff there. We've got um, the Dread Tales from the Warehouse. These, like, I'm guessing this is uh, some, oh, some various encounters that you can run. So that's cool. Little extras there. And then in here, we have got, uh, oh, here are where the maps are. So, well, first there's some certificates of death inside. Um, so that's, I guess, good to have in this game. Because uh, you may die. It's always a possibility. Uh, we've got some pre made character sheets, it looks like. Um, that right? Okay. So we've got. So yeah, just got some pre made character sheets, a human cleric, some. Ooh, a reborn barbarian. Sorry. Um, got some small maps in here. Uh, an overview of a larger map of the lab. Uh, again, we got some certificate of death, last will and testament of things, 
Lawrence and Lance. So again, some authentic, good aesthetic pieces here that you can, or tangible props that you can use in your games. Now that hopefully you're running games in person, how fun is that? You're vaccinated and good to go. Get vaccinated if you can. Um, some more, more props here. Uh, but I'm always a big fan of the maps, and it looks like we've got quite a few options here. So um, these guys look like they fold out, and I apologize, we're not going to get the full, full picture necessarily. Let me try. I don't know, that's about as zoomed out as I'll get, but... Here's the first floor layout. So you can kind of see different areas of the first floor and the back. There's more, so we, both sides has um, have some options here that I can get to. I've always really enjoyed Beetle and Grimm's map offerings in here. They're super cool. So again, another floor that you can adventure on, lay out for your players to explore with their with their minis in person. Very ornate, very nice, uh, nice carpets, nice rugs in here. Well, you know, it's Van Ripken's place, so. It's Ravenloft, it's supposed to be fancy. Uh, here's the tower chamber. Ooh, there's like a body in here. Eee. Doesn't look promising, guys. Nope. A nope right out of there. What else is in here? Yep, just more of the manor. And then more of these cool scenes that you can uh, show to people in your game as you're working through. Very cool. Uh, little baby tavern. Little baby tavern map. And then uh, we got a little, a little message. Again, a little prop here. And then the... Uh, Coupe de Gracchi, um, which is, well, oh, there's two things. First, it's the Ravenloft module. Um, so this kind of has the, the book that recently came out, which uh, Wizards was so kind to send over to us. We just recently did a giveaway for Father's Day, so congrats to our winner there. Um, but this has the module, uh, if you've never bought a Beetle and Grimm set before, kind of broken up into various sub-modules so that when you're running the game, you don't have to bring the whole book with you. You can bring just the the relevant uh, section. Um, so this one has you know, chapter one for character creation and creating the domains of dread. And then uh, as you work through the module, you can pick out the, the later later modules here, the sub modules to, to run the game. So you don't have to bring everything with you every time. So that's awesome. And then, oh, it's at the very bottom here. And at the very bottom, we've got Ooh, some more little map stuff. Oh, very nice. So these are kind of eight and a half by 11 maps of various countries, Barovia. Kartikos, I guess, Kartikos. So as your players are exploring and everything and you say, and you are given a map, you can give them a map to orient themselves. And it's nice, nice, a nice, you know, sturdy paper, looks good, nice detail. So there you have it, all kept in this tidy folder, which sits and lives in the bottom of the box that you got from Beetle and Grimm. So um, once again, thank you so much, Beetle and Grimm, for sending this over. Uh, if you are the type of DM that loves to immerse your player with uh, props and maps and all those other goodies that can come with it. Um, the Beetle and Grimm silver sets, gold sets, platinum sets, if you spring for those, uh, all can help you to complement your game uh, and ask, elevate your game uh, to the next level. So again, uh, thank you Beetle and Grimm for sending this all over. Uh, we look forward to uh, seeing more of what you put out in the future. And until then, happy gaming everybody.